afternoon, good evening, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, it's a quick one on the channel again, just a quick update after yesterday's video, a little bit more information that I got last night, uh, especially about Paul Dummett, uh, which is really good news, I think, personally, and we'll go through why. Uh, but very quickly, remember, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Please watch the video to the end. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and please help spread the news of these videos and, and hopefully grow this channel bigger than what it is at the moment. I mean, we are on the road to 4,000. Uh, so please hit that subscribe button and bell button if you're the, the first time watcher. We are going to be bringing you a lot more of these videos now that the, the you know the transfer window is going to be opening soon. Uh, and hopefully we'll have lots of more inside scoop news that uh, other people won't have. So fingers crossed. Uh, but also please consider becoming a member in the description below of the the show there's a link if you would like to become a member we give away prizes uh, next month's prize is here it's a newcastle badge it's beautifully done it's for inside outside use it looks so good on a white background uh they're worth 40 pound uh we do actually sell them as well uh we've got 15 left so if anyone wants to buy one again description below contact me and uh, you can you can purchase one because they are an absolute fabulous little uh, badge and it can go indoors and outdoors as well but we'll be giving one of them away to one lucky paying member next month so please consider becoming a member for that reason and lots of other prizes in the future as well a kevin keegan signed personalized photograph to a winner in october we definitely got that lined up so yeah Amazing stuff. But uh, anyway, so back to yesterday's news. Obviously, Jesse Lingard was on was on the update. Uh, got some more news about him last night. Obviously, he came on for Man United very early on when Pogba limped off. Uh, we are in pole position uh, to sign him. Uh, he thinks his Man United career is over. However, there is a new manager coming in and he is a Man United fan. So you can't blame him for doing this, but he does want to sit down with the new manager and find out what his future would be like at Man United if he stayed. He's 29. He doesn't want to be warm on the bench. You know, he needs to be playing football, otherwise he'll regret it. And there's a chance of getting back into the England fold as well. I mean, the World Cup in the winter, if he starts, you know, if he moves to Newcastle and kicks the season off and scoring goals like he did for West Ham, there's a very good chance he's in that England squad again. Uh, is he going to get that opportunity at Man United? I'm not sure he is, uh, even though they are in disarray after getting absolutely hammered 4-0 last night. So but that's the update on Jesse Lingard again. We are in pole position. However, he does want to speak to the new manager coming in at Man United before he makes a decision on his future. So you can't blame him. He's a lifelong fan. So we'll give him that one. Uh, next update again is back on Shaw and uh, Sean. Uh I was given a little bit more information last night about their contracts, uh, and I thought I was right. Uh, I, I did kind of speculate, but Shaw is definitely getting offered a two-year deal, or has actually been offered a two-year deal with a one, one-year one extension. It has been agreed. They're just waiting for the club to be mathematically safe before they start announcing these new contracts. Uh, the hierarchy do not... If they go down, you know, things are going to change. But I know we're not going to go down, but there's always that little little noise in the back of your head. We're not mathematically safe yet. There's no point in doing deals until we are, and that's what we're waiting for. So tonight, if we win and Burnley lose, I believe we are mathematically safe. So these deals will start getting signed and agreed. Uh, but Shaw will definitely be two years with an option of an extra year if we need it. And Sean is, is a straight three years, and he's, he's definitely signing it, and it's, it's going to be agreed very, very soon. So very exciting for, for those two players to be involved in this new new generation. So I'm all for it. Uh, like I said, Eddie Howe spoke about Sean Longstaff a lot Uh and we need a squad. You need twenty. You need for twenty-eight, for twenty-five to thirty players. You know, you need to have them all competing in all areas and keeping the guys who have got the shirt looking over the shoulder, thinking if I don't put in a good performance, there is somebody there to to take it. So, you know, you've got to have that depth, and we don't have it at the moment. Uh, the next update is on Paul Dummett and uh, Miggy Almiron. Uh, I was a bit surprised to, to to hear about this, so we'll talk about Miggy first. So. Uh, obviously, we reported a while ago he'll be he'll be leaving in the summer. Uh, his performances weren't there. Uh, Eddie wasn't sure about him. But the last two games, Miggy's turned his Newcastle career around a little bit, a bit like Joel Linton did. And Eddie Howe likes what he sees in him. He likes his attitude. He likes his work rate. He likes the way he trains. 
And uh, he's basically took a massive U-turn on him. And he wants to give him another season to work with him and work on his game and see if he can turn him into a player who deserves to be in a Newcastle shirt. And the last two performances against uh, Everton, and then, sorry, I, mean, I forgot who we played against. There you go. Against uh, Leicester and uh, Wolves. That was the one I was looking for. Couldn't get it out of my head. Uh, he deserves to to have that chance. So I'm, I'm all for it. I've always been a big fan of Miggy. I know there's a player in there. I just hope Eddie Howe can get it out of him. And I think he is, I think he will, and I think he is, uh, especially the last two performances. And I think he'll play again tonight, to be honest with you. Uh, the other one is, is Paul Dummett. So the speculation that he wasn't going to be offered the deal that he wanted, uh, I think he wanted two years and he hasn't been offered that though. So Paul Dummett's been offered a one-year extension with an option of a second year. So he hasn't got a two-year deal uh, that he wanted, but he's kind of almost got it. Uh, I'm all for it again. I think Paul Dummett, lifelong Newcastle fan. He's been in the clubs since he started his career. You know, Target will be signed and will be the, the left back, but Paul Dummett will be good backup. And remember, it's all about the squad. We can't just go out and sign, you know, another 11 players to fill the 11 that we've already got as well. It's not going to happen. You need to have depth and Paul Dummett can play at centre back, he can play at left back he'll be a good squad player next season and I think he knows that because of his injuries, he knows he's not going to walk into a starting eleven anywhere else and he wants to be with Newcastle so I'm all for it again so it's a one year deal uh, which he, he will sign as soon as they're safe and it will be announced as soon as we're safe uh, with an option of a second year uh, I've also been given a list of players again who's out. I mean, to be honest with you, we've, we've commented on these players already, uh, but just to go through them again, Dwight Gale, uh, six million we're after. Fernandez will be leaving. Hayden will be leaving, which is a bit of a shame because I like Hayden, but, you know, it's time for him to go back to London for his family and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't blame him. Gillespie, definitely a goalkeeper we don't need. Darlow, again, not good enough. So there's definitely a goalkeeper coming in if we're getting rid of both of them. Matt Ritchie, been a great servant, got us out of the championship, kept us in the Premier League for a couple of years with his goals uh, and assists and his work rate and he's pulled players out of the mud, you know, and dragged them along at times. Uh, so I thank him for his service. I think he's been a great player for us. Uh, Kieran Clark, obviously, as we know, his career was finished after he punched a, another player in the Saudi Arabia. Uh, Lewis, bit of a shame, but again, if we're signing Matty Target, and Dummett's going to be there. Lewis is, isn't going to be serving to requirements, so he's on his way out as well. And Murphy as well, uh, who yeah, he's put in some decent performances, but again, that next level, you know, he's not good enough. So that frees up five, six spaces in the squad, also frees up wages. Uh, so it's very exciting times in the summer and a lot more of these videos to come with, a lot more players we're going to be linked with. Uh, but that's everything for today. Uh, please catch us. This is... Wednesday, so please catch us on Thursday for full time. Uh, we'll be doing a, a review of the game, but we'll also be doing a watch along tonight. So please join us from quarter past seven UK time. Uh, and on Sunday, through Black and White Eyes, we'll be doing a lone watch. We'll be talking to a Bristol Rovers fan and a Mansfield fan about Elliot Anderson and Matty Longstaff, about how they're progressing and whether they see them as potential Premier League players in the future. And we all agree that. Uh, Elliot Anderson is definitely, definitely going to be a big, big player for us in the future. So really looking forward to that. But that's it, guys. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed it, if you like what you see. Like I said, there'll be a lot more of these to come. Please consider becoming a member. And like I mentioned before, we've got this amazing prize to give away. It is quite heavy. Uh, 300 mil you know, badge can go indoors, outdoors, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, please consider checking out Sports Trader as well, a great charity. We're going to be buying stuff from them as well to, to give away as prizes to, to help disadvantaged and disabled children. Uh, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. See you tonight, hopefully, for the watch along. Really looking forward to that. Come on, how are the lads? See you later, guys. <laughs>